it do, what it do, y'all. It's Jeremiah Neal, the host of Electric Pop, your new favorite interview series where we take a deep dive into various niche communities and chat with the experts within them. Speaking of community, if you haven't heard about us yet, Pop Shop Live is a live streaming e-commerce platform where you can watch shows and shop from an array of unique and eclectic products live. So I'm gonna need y'all to click our download link in our bio and our description box, please. And thank you. And speaking of Pop Shop Live, I'm hanging out with one of the coolest streamers on the platform, my homie Anch. Now y'all know Anch has been in the jewelry and fashion game for over 15 plus years. And he's made pieces for some of y'all favorites like Nicki Minaj, Paris Hilton, Kate Moss, Kim Kardashian. So now that he's taken over this live streaming world, it was only fitting that we had to chat it up with him and pick his brain a little bit. I had so much fun with my homie and I really hope y'all enjoyed this interview. Here we go, Electric Pop, Anch, let's go. <laughs> what it do, Anch, how are you? Hello, thank you for having me. I'm so excited to watch um, spill some tea with you. <laughs> yes, well, I love that you say we're spilling tea. Now, I've had the privilege of getting to watch so many of your Pop Shop Live shows, which I adore. Um, and I kind of know this particular story, but for our viewers on YouTube that are watching this right now, can you tell us about the pretzel? Because it's super iconic. Um, okay. Why did you choose this as your statement piece for the Anch brand? So I always believe that things happen for a reason and I always let things happen organically. And the same goes with the double twist pretzel. So um, I, I shot an MTV show back in the day, 13 years ago to be exact. And before I got on that show, I wanted to create something that is a shape of a heart, but also resembles food because food is something that we all get inspired by every day because we eat it three times a day, duh. So um, prior to this, I've never had a pretzel in my life. So I made this pretzel necklace out of clay and it was with a double twist. A couple months after, a friend of mine's father came over to my place and said, hey, Anj, that's your double twist pretzel. That's your signature. I had no idea what he was talking about. So um, I reached out to my legal team, had it trademarked, and now it is my logo. Well, it's been my logo for the past 17 years. And the coolest thing about that, oh, well, it's probably not 17, because if I shot the show 13 years ago, it was probably my logo for the past 11 or 12. But the coolest thing about the pretzel is that I've done so many wonderful collaborations and has so many celebrity endorsements with my double twist pretzel that now when I look at it, I call it my gratitude pretzel. Whenever I see it laying out anywhere in the house, in the studio, I would always say a thought of gratitude and what I'm thankful for because it has brought me so much joy and abundance of love and wealth. And it is just so, so special to me. I mean, we have Hello Kitty wearing the pretzel, double twist pretzel as a bow. We have Pokemon Pikachu holding my double twist pretzel. We have my little pony with a cutie mark that is my double pretzel and so on and so on and i just it to me is such a special symbol and i'm so excited that now i get to share it with my pop shop live family oh ah, i just love that answer you you're just full <laughs> of so much of like energy but it's like beautiful it's authentic and i feel like that's so it's very rare to find well speaking of uh issues from the heart i want to kind of segue into something that's a little bit more serious but i think it's something okay. that i would love to discuss with you let's get serious um, we've been seeing a lot of social injustices within this country for a while but most recently there's a lot of targeting against asian and asian american folks in the united states do you have any advice as how we can you know amplify this issue in a way um, that needs to be heard the same way that we were able to do uh, last summer, for instance, with like Breonna Taylor and, and George mm -hmm. Floyd. What could we do or what could I do as an ally to make this a, a, a bigger movement than what it is currently? So on my end, as a designer, I'm teaming up with a nonprofit organization called Racism Has No Home Here. And what we're doing, my part, is I'm designing a jewelry collection that we'll be selling and all proceeds will be donated to Racism Has No Home Here, where they will be raising awareness for the younger generation about racial injustice and also we'll be sending kids of color to law school at some point for their scholarship. So I'm very excited that I'm working on a project like that because to me as a designer, I wanna be able to make a change. I wanna be able to um, speak out for the people that can't speak for themselves. So to me, this project sparks so much joy. So I cannot wait to release it on Pop Shop Live and show you guys what we've been working on for the past couple of months. 
I love that. I love that you are thinking about the now and the future because that, that's a, that's the biggest way that we can create change on this planet is to inspire Absolutely. the people that are going into the future and they're going to have great jobs like lawyers and doctors and stuff like that. So that's amazing. You always have some of the most creative shows on Pop Shop Live. I've seen you <laughs> have food thrown at yourself. <laughs> you've taken baths while you've streamed. You've taken naps live. You've done everything that you can think of under the sun. What can we expect this summer, 2021, from Anch when it comes to creative shows? Can you give us any hints on any ideas that you yes, have? Yes, absolutely. So we are going to have, well, I'm planning on a five-day stream. So you will be going to sleep with me, stream with me, live my daily life with me for five days straight. It'll be Big Brother big style. Brother. Because, yes, yes, it will be Big Brother style. And you'll be with me for the next five days. I'm planning that out so that it will be a fun, exciting show with special guests and everything. And I think that's going to be really, really cool. Um, I also have different collections coming out, which I think that would really be a different spin to what you've already seen. So, for example, we will have a special guest that will be joining me. Hello! Hi! <laughs> so Hi. my special guest will be coming and we're going to be launching a new collection together. Oh my gosh. And also we have a collection that is all about feeling like a million bucks. Ooh. So it's a giant price tag. This is a million bucks, but we also have smaller ones because you know what? We all want to wake up and feel like a million dollars, right? Absolutely. Exactly. And we so want to be million one. dollar sellers as well. So Yes, absolutely. <laughs> and we know if you're on Pop Shop Live, you're getting closer to a million, okay? Well, Aunt, do you have any last words that you want to say to our viewers? Any uh, shout outs that you want to give or anything of that sort? Well, I just want to say thank you for everybody that's viewing this episode. And thank you for giving me a platform and a voice because I know without all our friends out there, I wouldn't be here. I wouldn't be able to sell my art and just interact with so many wonderful friends and talents out there. I am truly grateful in so many ways. And I'm grateful for you, Jeremiah, for always supporting my art and being kind towards me because you really don't have to, okay? <laughs> yeah, but no, you, you're just a vibe and I always got to, anything that's a vibe, I'm with. So I'm always just rooting for everybody and I want everything to do amazing, which you're already doing. <laughs> so I just can't wait to continue to watch your journey on Pop Shop Live grow because you kind of just came in and have just been just on an incline ever since. And I love that. I love someone that just takes initiative and just goes and you're doing that. So <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you. That's thank what's you. up. Last but not least, wear your mask, get your vaccines and love each other because life is too short not to do that. Okay. So give the person on your right a hug, give the person on your left a hug, give the person in front of you a hug, like what I'm doing right now. I hope you're feeling the love and you'll see me on Pop Shop Live and every social media platform. Yes, yes, yes. We're going to put Anche's information in the description box below. So make sure to go click on that. Y'all also got to come subscribe. We need mm -hmm. some likes. We need some shares. We got to yep. keep this momentum going with Electric yep. Pop. But I love every and one of y'all. hit that notification watching. button, guys. The notification button about is about the very important. Hello. <laughs> but I do appreciate all y'all that are watching. Make sure to do all of the things that we said before and tune in next week because we're going to have some great, great future guests. With that being said, it's Jeremiah Neal signing out of Electric Pop. Bye, y'all. Bye, friends. Now, y'all, how awesome is Anch? Okay, I had such a fun time hanging out with my homie, and I hope that y'all go watch all of his shows for the rest of the year on Pop Shop Live, okay? And just know the extended version of the interview will be available on streaming platforms this Friday, so make sure to go listen to it if you love the vibe of this interview. And then make sure to subscribe and stay tuned for next week because I'm going to be hanging out with Stony Love of Stuzo Clothing, and we're talking fashion. We're talking design. We're talking New York versus LA. We're talking about LGBTQ affairs. So it's going to be lit and I need y'all to check in next week for Electric Pop. Signing out.